Hello everybody, I'm Marin. And I'm Kale. We are The Smiths. And here we are to tell you more about solar panels, our batteries, and what it takes living full-time during the winter here in our truck bed camper as full-time students. In a solar panel system, there are three key components. The solar panels, a charge controller, and of course, the batteries. To make it clear, solar panels do not power our camper. Batteries power our camper. Solar panels simply charge our batteries. RV camper batteries produce 12 volt power, the same type of power you find in your car. This means we can easily run lights, charge our handheld electronics, keep our fridge on, and use our heater and fans. 12 volt power does not power typical AC or 110 volt outlets. This means we can't power our laptops, hair dryers, toasters, or anything else that uses beyond 12 volt power. We could use a power converter for a few of these items, but we fear this will pull too much power from our batteries, so we don't. To understand solar panels, you first have to understand batteries. So let's break it down. We have two 6 volt Duracell golf cart batteries. Combined, these batteries give us 12 volts of power that run everything in our camper. Unlike our cell phones, these batteries don't give us a solid percentage of how much they've been discharged. Instead, they give us a reading of their overall voltage. With a multimeter, we can check our 12 volt batteries and see the amount of power they still contain. A completely charged 12 volt battery with no load will read at least 12.6 volts or higher. Typically, our batteries will read around 13 volts when they're fully charged. As a rule of thumb, RVers, van lifers, and campers say to keep your batteries from discharging below 50%. Percentages look like this when you read them in voltage. 12.6 or above is somewhere around 100%. 12.3 volts is about 75%. 50% is when you read around 12 volts. 11.5 volts means you're running at about 20%. And then 10.5 or below means your batteries are at zero, which usually means they're completely dead. And listen, letting your batteries completely discharge is so dangerous and so bad. It can permanently kill them and they will no longer function and no longer charge. Trust us, we know from experience. <laughs> when we first got our system all set up, because of what everyone said in the forums, online, and on YouTube about never letting your battery go below 50%, we were extremely nervous about letting our batteries discharge below 12 volts. Our first night when we got to 11.9, we were super anxious and worried and thinking we may have destroyed our batteries. We've learned that this isn't necessarily the worst thing for our batteries, especially since we have really heavy duty, deep cycle golf cart batteries, which are designed for maximum discharge and allow us to be a little bit more lenient on this discharging. For example, our charge controller has a warning light that will blink on when we discharge too low. This light isn't triggered until our batteries read 11.7 volts, which means somewhere around 30%. Until that point, we've decided not to worry too much. That's right. We have had nights where our batteries have discharged as low as 11.3 volts. But our, like I said, our golf cart batteries are designed for a deep cycle like this every once in a while, so long as we're not doing it every single night. In fact, after a long conversation with Frenergy Solar, they told us as long as our batteries aren't dipping below 11 volts and never do dip below 11 volts, we should see healthy battery life for our entire year here living in our camper. So to be safe, if we ever do dip below 11.7 and that warning light comes on, if we're able, we try to get to a friend or family's house where we can plug in and charge for a few hours. Our solar charge controller came with a Bluetooth hookup for our phones, giving us a really easy way to examine our battery's health and to keep an eye on our battery levels. This has been super helpful in determining when we need to get plugged in or whether or not we can sleep with the heater on or not at night. <laughs> <laughs> a typical RV marine battery may not be able to handle this sort of discharge, but with our deep cycle golf cart batteries, we have greater confidence that our batteries can handle multiple severe discharges and still maintain functionality. The fact is our batteries have more deep cycles than traditional batteries do. When the voltage does get pretty low, 
We try our best to conserve power. Our camper stays fairly warm once we've had the heater on, so there are some nights when, because our battery levels are pretty low, we'll sleep without the heater and just pack on the blankets. We also upgraded to LED lighting, helping us conserve some power, and we'll also forego charging any of our devices, trying our best to get them charged at work or at school, and using as little power as possible. The toughest battle we have is the winter. The days are short and often overcast and snowy. If we get snow or ice on our solar panels, it's so important that we scrape and dust it off as quickly as possible. Exactly. There's a lot of things we're still learning about how to maintain our battery levels here during the winter. So stay tuned and we'll give you a full review of how we do it and how we've been making it work this cold and long winter. Thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more camper updates. My name's Kale. And I'm Marin. We are the Smiths. And until next time, we'll be smithing it. What is up everybody? Thanks so much for sticking around this long into the video. We have just one more comment for you guys. If you or a friend or family member are looking for solar panels or charging equipment or anything of the sort, we know the place to go. Hop on over to renergy.com. There's a link provided below in the description and use the coupon code SMITHINIT at checkout to receive 10% off your entire order of solar panels. 10%! That's right. Killer savings. This doesn't only help you guys save a little bit of money, but this helps support us and our growing channel. And again, until next time, we'll be... Smithing it. Boom.